Well, I think it was uh, pretty poor timing for a beer night to start with uh, <laughs> after the incident in Dallas uh, where the two teams uh, fought. Um, I think the people here in Cleveland were uh, uh, primed for uh, some action last night and then uh, on top of that just uh, uh, led to a very unpleasant situation. But I think that a lot of it was manifested through the press and the radio media. Well, the uh, people that I have talked to since I've been in Cleveland, after, before, and after, uh, indicate that the disc jockeys and the writers and the TV press media, all, all this thing is saying, uh, well, let's get revenge on the Rangers for what happened in Texas. Honestly, I don't think it had that much to do with the uh, fracas that we had with y'all down there. It was just a case of an awful lot of people being a little bit too drunk, uh, a case of not enough good baseball fans being in positions where they could have prevented it. And uh, just too many, too many guys got out of hand. Uh, the crowd control naturally was the main problem to start with. I, I wish that we would have had more security, and I wish that some punitive measures uh, would have been taken as soon as a couple of fellas ran out on the field. I don't know what they could have done. Personally, I'd like to have seen a couple of them got whacked on the head. That might have stopped it all. I just think it was a... Uh just a bunch of kids who just couldn't handle their liquor, and uh, those aren't the real good baseball fans in Cleveland. Uh, I feel kind of sad because uh, this has always been, uh, although it has been drawn of late, always been a good baseball town, and I, you hate to see this happen in our great game of baseball. And I think we're going to have to take some stronger measures so people that uh, run on the field and whatever it may be. Last year, our fans had a beer night, and it was a pretty rowdy crew, but. Uh, there was fights, or at least it's restricted among themselves in the bleachers. Nobody was throwing firecrackers and cherry bombs and uh, rocks and uh, bottles or anything else at some of the other ballplayers.